Hi everyone, Ravi this side. Welcome to Engineering Adda. So in this video, we are going to look into the Spring Boot 3.1.0 release new feature, which provides the support for the external services like test container or the Docker Compose. Okay. So if you are not aware about the Docker and uh, how to make a Docker image of your Spring Boot application, how to create a Docker container and run your application. So you can go and watch out my playlist on the Docker. I will provide the link of that uh, playlist in the description of this video. So make sure you are uh, good with the basic of your Docker and Spring Boot. Now in this video, we are going to focus on the Spring Boot 3.1.0 release new feature, which provides the support for the Docker Compose. So what this feature do for us? Let me try to explain you. So let's say you have created one Spring Boot application and there you have created the entity repository and you have created the services and in the services you have created the CRUD methods and then you have created the APIs to consume those methods. So you have basically created the CRUD operations in your application. And let's say you are using the PostgreSQL as a database. Okay. So when you are going to make your application up, then you need to provide the configuration for the database as well. So that when your application is up and it can be connected to the database, which will be up locally on your system. And then you can hit those APIs to carry out the CRUD operation. So this is about the basic of the Spring Boot CRUD operations with a DB. So where come the picture of the Spring Boot 3.1.0 release? Okay, so this release is helping us to directly create or pull a Docker image of the database on the Docker and try to connect it with the Spring Boot application while we are running the Spring Boot. Okay, so let's say you have created the Spring Boot application and you have included the necessary dependency for the database and all. Okay, and then you are uh, not using your local database. You want the database to be running on the Docker. Okay, so for that you need to write a Docker Compose file and when you are going to hit or run your application, it will automatically read your Docker Compose file and try to pull a Docker image of your database and try to connect it with your application and you can perform your CRUD operation or you can hit your CRUD APIs. So this is the new features that Spring Boot 3.1.0 release has come into the picture. Okay, so we are going to use that. So for that, uh, let me try to go to the IntelliJ and here you can see I already have created a Spring Boot application for the product management. So let me try to brief you about the application first. So if you'll go to the entity, you can see I have created this product entity and it has four attributes, ID, name, price, and the quantity. ID is the ID for this entity. Now coming to the repository, you can see this is extending the GPA repository and coming to the service, you can see we have created the product service which has two methods. One is to insert the product into the DB and another is to find the list of product from the DB. Similarly, if you'll go to the implementation of the product service, then you can see in this class, we have implemented those methods which are there in the product service interface. And we are using the JPA provided method, which is saved to insert the DB, uh, insert the product into the DB and find all, which is to find all the products from the DB. If you'll go to the product controller, you can, here you can see with the help of product service, we are calling the methods that we have created in the product service interface. Okay. And then this is about the whole flow. So let me try to explain you the flow of find all. So if you'll go to the uh, get products method of the product service, here you can see it is returning the list of product. If you'll go to its implementation, it is uh, using the product repository, uh, which is a JPA provided method find all. And then it is finding all the product from the DB and then returning you. So this is about the application, what we have created. If you'll go to the pom.xml, here you can see we have included the web, JPA, we have included the Postgre database as well. And this is the Lombok. 
so these are the dependency I have in the application so this is about the application now I'm going to use the new feature of the Spring Boot 3.1.0 release and that feature to to use that feature you need to include a, a new dependency which is docker compose dependency so when you are going to include that dependency in, in your spring boot application it will uh, try to read the docker compose file automatically when you are going to make your application up okay so you have to include that dependency you have to create a docker compose file and when you will make your application up because of that dependency included it will read that docker compose file and whatever thing you have written in the docker compose file it will try to read that and based upon that it will execute the command for you and then it will create a let's say you have provided the details to uh, pull a docker image for the postgresql and did the necessary configuration so that it can connect it with the spring boot application so it will do everything by itself while clicking the spring boot run option okay so this is the new feature this is a very cool feature that helps the developer so let me try to uh, go to the browser and here let me try to uh, search for that dependency so if you'll search for the spring boot uh, 3.1.0 docker compose maven just click on it and here you go you can see this spring boot docker compose 3.1.0 just copy this dependency and uh, go to the IntelliJ and then paste it here in the dependency section and then run your maven so go to the maven and try to spin it so that it can resolve your dependencies okay so we are good now so we have included this uh, dependency as of now now let me try to create the docker compose file so right click on it and then create a file uh, let's say it is docker compose dot yml so make sure your naming convention is uh, the same way how i'm creating okay so this is the docker compose file i have created now let me try to provide the version first and then do the necessary configuration for the uh, database connectivity and pulling the docker image for the postgresql so let's say the version is 3.1 okay so 3.1 and now we need to provide the services so let's say we are going to create the db service and uh, let's say the image is postgres okay so why we are getting this error okay and uh, let's say the port is uh, let's say 5432 which is the default port for the postgresql okay now let me try to okay so we are good now we need to provide the environment variable here okay so environment and we need to provide the postgre username password and the database name okay so let's say it is uh, post grace underscore user and let's say the username is postgre either you can keep it in the inverted comma or you can remove it okay so let's say this is the one now you need to uh, provide the configuration for the password so post gray password and the password is also post gray or you can keep it as a password also okay so now let me try to do the configuration for db which is post gray underscore db and let's say the db name we are going to put as a product db okay so we are good now so these are the configuration that you need to do in the docker compose so what it will do it will try to pull the docker image of the post gray and then 
it will uh, set the username and password and it will make your docker image of the post gray up locally on the docker in a container and from there it can connect it with your spring boot application and you can perform the operation that you have defined in your spring boot application okay so we are good now now let me try to go to the application properties file and here let me try to do a configuration for the jpa okay so spring dot jpa dot hibernate dot ddl auto equal to update so with this configuration what it will do it will try to uh, when you are going to run your application it will try to automatically read your entity and based upon the entity it will try to create a table in the database okay and uh, then you can uh, use that table to do your operation so we are good with the configuration and uh, we have what let me try to summarize you what you need what we have did we have created this application uh, we have included the pom.xml maven dependency for the docker compose okay and then we have created this docker compose file where we have provided the necessary configuration for the post gray and then in the application properties file we have uh, added a gpa configuration so everything is good now let me try to run this application so before running this application make sure your docker desktop is up locally so if you're using docker desktop make sure it is up and if you're using docker terminal make sure you, that is up so that your docker daemon is up and then you can perform the docker related operations so i'm just going to uh, make the docker desktop up and i will also try to show you what all the images i have if i have the post gray already then uh, i will try to remove it and then try to uh, freshly pull it okay so if you'll go down here you can see i have the mysql and if you'll go up i don't know if i have the post gray or not so let me try to check it so go down one by one mongodb go down okay so do, i don't have the post gray image as of now so it will try to freshly fetch from the docker hub so let me try to run our application okay so just wait for a few seconds it will try to uh, first pull the docker image of your post gray try to do the configuration and then try to connect it with the uh, spring boot application so you can, here you can see it is started pulling your docker image so it started downloading just wait for a few minutes uh, yeah yeah i think it is uh, still downloading download completed it is extracting now now it is pulled and now it is started creating the docker container for your mysql okay so just wait Yeah, it is taking some time now it is failed i don't know why it is failing let me try to go there and here we go let me try to maximize it so you here you can see this uh, docker image of the db is pulled and while it is creating the container making that docker image running in that container it is failing somewhere right so what is the error it is process runner dot run go down let me try to go to the docker desktop and then try to see inside the container what is the error so you can see this uh, this is the container that it has created which is 44 second ago so go to this 
and go to the postgre and here you can see a uh, connection without a password this is not recommended i think i am making some mistake with the configuration in the docker compose file so let me try to go to the intellij and try to do uh, the uh, correct configuration so if we'll go to the docker compose uh, here you can see we have this space if we'll remove this and this and this and then try to run it again and then see if it is working or not so yeah just wait for a few seconds and this time it won't work uh, take much time to pull the docker image because it is already there and here you go you can see our application is up on the port number 8080 which is the default port for the spring boot application so everything is good now now let me try to uh, open the postman here and try to hit this api so if you'll go to the intellij and product controller here you can see the class level mapping is api products and for the find all we have the find all and we have the insert to insert the product in the db so let me try to hit the find all first so this is the api and it is a git api just hit enter and here we go we don't have anything inserted in our db as of now so we are not getting anything but the status is 200 that means we are able to hit this api correctly okay so it is not giving any error so now let me try to insert a couple of product there so i already have framed this post api so if you'll go to the intellij uh, here we you can find that the class level mapping is api products and then if you want to hit the insert api you need to provide the additional mapping which is insert so let me try to go to the postman and here you can see uh, this is the api for the insert so let me try to insert a product called laptop and its id is 101 and price is 70000 and the quantity is 1 and let me try to hit enter and here we go you can see it is inserted and if you'll go to the get and try to hit it now so you can see you are able to get the product which is inserted in the db so both of the apis are working fine if you want to insert couple more uh, products so let's say you want to insert the uh, product id 102 and name is uh, let's say mobile and the price is let's say 60000 quantity is 1 okay so let me try to put 60000 and quantity is 1 if you'll send it you can see it is inserted and if you'll go to the get and find all here we go we have inserted the mobile as well so both of the products are inserted and both of the apis are working fine that means your application uh, is able to read the docker compose file and based upon that it is pulling the docker uh, image of the postgre and try to uh, connect with the postgre database and this database is connected with your spring boot application and th there we are able to get this uh, API working right that means we are able to insert the product in the DB and we are able to find the products from the DB so this is about the uh, new release of the Spring Boot 3.1.0 feature which is uh, providing the support for the docker compose and this is about the video guys if you like the video please hit the like button and please subscribe the channel for more such content thanks